Len here. Welcome to part two of building the Connoisseur 040 Industrial Locomotive Poly. Do you know old Manny Vananian? We had to ship him off home. He was missing his uh, local cuisine. But do you know here in Australia, so dry lately. So dry, we had to shut down one lane of the local swimming pool to save water. Fair income we did. <laughs> All right, it's not, Manny hasn't gone away. Oh my goodness, Manny Vananian, see what a super Manian station master is. West Green is here today with you. Welcome to part two. <laughs> I hope that gave you a laugh. So, what am I up, what am I up to? I'm using my flux capacitor. When I turn, fair dinkum, when I turn this on, all the lights in the street go dim. No, I jest. But it's a good bit of kit. So what I've done, and I'm going to show you what, following on from the foot plate, the next part is to solder beading round the cat, round the cab, just round there. You do that on the flat. So I've done one, and then you fold up the tank side, put it in the notches, put it in the notches. The little slots go into the holes, and solder it up. But of course, with this duvet lackey, this soldering iron, which this is on. Oh, it's killed me. Now, it's um, even when I turn it on now, there you go. That's on, doesn't get hot because it works on resistance, a high current flowing from a transformer through this probe through a carbon rod which gets hot. Uh, so basically, and, and I, I will show you, but I'm, I, I, I've been using solder paste which I get from this guy, I got this from J Car, but it's just solder paste. So I just put bits on and then put this on there. And whammo, see? Gets hot. Now it's off. So I'll, what I'll be showing you is uh, putting the beading on um, and doing this so you know. But I'll, I'll tell you what, it makes you wonder. I, I wonder why I didn't get one. Oh, love that clock. 12 o'clock. Oh, hell, forget this. Look at this clock. Come on, I've got to show you. Right, I don't know how you just build Ruby, Ruby dog. There it is, look. Oh, I love it. I love clocks and bells. I used to ring church bells. I still do. Ruby, what do you think? Yes, Dad, I like it. Hell, forget Len being a fruitcake and Manny. I'm a total nut job, but I don't care. You know why? Because I'm old and I just don't care anymore. But anyway, let's get back to it. Um, I just hope, I, I, I really hope I inspire you to have a go. This is Jim McGowan's simplest kit, as you saw in the other parts. So it's going together well, really, really well. And this soldering iron I've got, I think, why didn't I get one before? Because you can, you hold it down, you can clamp it, do what you like, hold it down. You can hold all the parts, put solder along, press the button, turn it on and off and it just it's almost like you've got another set of hands so I'll show you in a minute putting the tank sides on okay that side's on I've got the other side down here and it's attached it's held down to this steel plate with these uh, rare earth magnets these are really strong what I've got here is a piece of the cab beading, which was straight, and I've wrapped it round a um, the shank of a needle file. It's just going to fit in there. Now, these are profiled. Uh, it's got a profile like so. And if you imagine, it's the cab side, and that profile fits there. So, in other words, it sits proud on the outside. What I'm going to do, if you imagine it like this, there's my cab. So I'm going to run solder along there. That's what I'm going to do. 
So what I'll do is I'll tack it first, which I can't do holding this, and then uh, I'll come back. So you can see I've just tack soldered it on edge. So using the file, I just push this straight to follow the shape of this. And then what I'll do is I'll put a tack there and a tack there, tack, tack. And then once it's all good, I'll go around and put a seam around it. Right, so that's all right. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to turn it on and draw it towards me, uh, draw it back. So I bent the end of the tank up, there's a um, half etch down there, So and I put some solder paste on it. So if I put this on, done. Just going to move a magnet up and do the other end. So this now, those tabs fit in there, I just make sure I push it down and then tack solder. A bit hard to do with one hand, so I'll put this down, but you get the idea. Right, so what I've done, I've got my sides on, I've got my four, there's four handrails on, they tack to the bottom, and uh, they also tack just to the um, inside, just inside at the top. So they're tacked in there, and I've cut them off and fired them off, I've just got to clean up. I think that's going to be it for today. So that's going to be the end of part two. The next thing I'm going to do is um, a rear cab. I've got a, uh, there's, there's embossed rivets on the inside. And you can punch these, but I've got a rivet press, which I've actually got to fasten down to a bench. So I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to press them out with my brand new rivet press. I'm trying to get all the tools to make life a bit easier. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. So thanks for watching. Oh, pardon me. Thanks for watching part two. Um, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get all my updates. Uh, check out Jim's website in the uh, description below. Uh, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Manavanani and Sivara Supermanium Station Master at West Green. And Len. God, he's a boring character, Len. See you later.